Let me put it this way. I was engaged when I entered the academy and very unengaged when I left. They just could not seem to get around the batch. Must be ten minutes. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm hungry. You haven't been serious about anybody since then, Nancy? Uh-uh. Oh, no. Same with all the men, too. Once they find out what my job is, they get very uncomfortable. <laughs> Mostly I wind up dating other cops. It seems easier that way. That is when there's time. Time? She goes to class three nights a week. And yoga class on the fourth. Listen, all things considered, I'm pretty occupied. What do you study? Criminology. Ah. I'll be getting my master's at the end of the semester. I figured if I was going to be a cop, I might as well go all the way. Oh, Jill, what a beautiful ring. Hey, thank you. This was a gift from my Aunt Robin. <coughs> What's the matter, Nancy? When Dan Stokely was shocked, the person driving the car was wearing a ring. One with a large stone, not the kind of ring a man would wear. That's what I've been trying to remember all this time. That's the link that's missing. It wasn't a man driving the car, it was a woman. Well, that's a very important missing link. Yeah, and something else, too. I've been thinking about the fact that none of the jewelry shown up. Rekha said that was unusual. Well, it is. The description is given to the dealer's right way. Okay, what if the stones remounted and sold as new merchandise? Uh, they'd be hard to trace. But what makes you think that's what they're doing? I know a lot of jewelry designers are women. Wait a minute. You're getting a lot of mileage out of just a hunch. Yeah, I know, but it just all kind of flashed together. You can't really be sure the driver was a woman. No. But if I'm right, it could lead some place. Mike, will you help me check it out? Let's take it to Riker. I can't go in there with some supposition I can't back up. Like, please, it's important. Will you help me? Of course I'll help you. Go check it out. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help, officer, but then that's all my records show. And I still don't understand what the information is for. It's just routine, Mr. Parkins. We like to keep our records up to date. Thank you very much for your help. It's all right. Well, that takes care of Parkins' jewelry. It's turning into an interesting list. What's the next stop? Riker. I think we got enough. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. I needed information to back it up. 
Franklin, when you remembered the ring, when you first suspected the driver of the car might be a woman, when your hunches first started to mean something, you should have been on the phone with me instantly. I could have had a couple of teams out there this morning checking stores. And two hours ago, we would have known something. Get me robbery. Uh, this is Riker. Let me speak to Henderson, please. Everything's empty, Lieutenant. It looks like they cleared out. Lieutenant, phone bill. Check how many recent calls to Mexico City. No other long-distance calls. All right, Danko, get on the phone. Call the airport. Tell them to delay all flights to Mexico, commercial and private. Have you got a description of the woman? Yeah, she's early 40s, uh, medium height and build, longish red hair, nice looking, stylish dresser. Inform security, tell them she may be using her real name, Joyce Lanson. She'll be traveling with the other two. Get out an APB on her and inform the Border Patrol. Roger. Well, I guess I don't need to spell that much better than that. If I'd gotten used to him, we might have passed him. Don't wallow in it. We haven't lost him yet. Uh, come on, Franklin. Thank you. 